Well, hello, guys and gals, and Merry Christmas to each and every one of you. Hi there, it's me, your old buddy, Mr. Moose. Hope you are having a wonderful holiday today and uh, spending time with friends and family. And uh, if you get a little bored, maybe you want to jump on YouTube and check out a little something something. So Recon and I jumped on the multiplayer server yesterday on Christmas Eve and did a little drive. And uh, I thought I'd put that up for you guys today. So this was recorded last night. Hope you guys enjoy it. And again, Merry Christmas to each and every one of you. Hope you have a wonderful day. And uh, I'll see you later. Enjoy. All right, guys. Hello and welcome. We are uh, on a multiplayer server with uh, Mr. Moose and myself. Hello. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas, guys. You want to do the honors or do you want to follow? Uh, it's up to you, buddy. I can run. That's up to you. I can run lead or you can. It's up to you. Yeah, I'll follow you for a little bit just to get the gist of it. And, uh, All right. Because I do want to know how the lag goes. Yeah, it's crazy. Oh, and people driving through you. That takes a little getting used to, doesn't yep. it? Yeah, you go into a yard and they start coming at you and you think, oh, this dude's going to hit me. You slam the brakes on and you look like an idiot because you don't realize it's a no collision like zone. like all that that just happened again. Yep. <laughs> Somebody just T-boned me from one side or the other or they spawned in. But this trailer is... Was honking over there, but he had nothing to do with it. Uh, oh, they love their horns on this server, man. I don't know what that was about. That really kind of ticks me off. This trailer has got to be gone by now. That was the guy right there, QQ. Yeah, he's just running all over the road. He doesn't care. Realism? What is realism? I do have a 340 horse truck, so just kind of keep that in mind also. Oh gosh. Yeah, yeah I'm going to be able to walk away from you in a heartbeat. You have. <laughs> now you know how I felt the other day when I ran with Alex and them and they, uh, they were all running big Volvos, and I was running that Mercedes. <laughs> Ooh, that was not fun. I'll try to take it easy on you. That dude came up here and wrecked. Now he's just turning around and up here in the middle of the road. Big surprise. Yeah. He's probably just trolling people. This guy's gonna pull over on top of me. Serious desync. Yep. That's the other thing. People in this game don't realize that they have to clear you so much yeah. trailers before they can pull over and they'll run right over you with their trailer. Look, the dude with the desync just tumped it. Alright, I'll kinda stay back a little bit from you that way just in case we get an idiot of course if I leave too much room I'm sure that somebody will try to squeeze in yeah just you can talk to me and tell me what's going on it's no big deal I'll slow down let them pass me and it's no big deal get a trucker radio going
Yeah, I'm trying not to run too far ahead of you coming up that hill because I know it's going to take you a while to accelerate <laughs> yeah, up. A little bit. So you're going to get on and then you're going to immediately take the next right off. All right. Copy that. You probably ought to take lead because uh, you're so slow. No offense. Nah, no, none taken. I just got that little GPS right. on my dash that kind of hard to see, so. Ah, uh, yeah. Yeah, you know, I like turning off the GPS most of the time, but at points I just leave mine mm -hmm. up and just run with the, the stock in-game one because I do like the information you get off of it as far as, you know, fuel economy or... Or where your fuel's at. I keep an eye on that on my dash. The only problem with this one being the box stock version, I can't uh, upgrade the dash and put the uh, GPS in it yet. Yep. That's where that cabin accessories pack comes yep. in handy. That's, I've got the little GPS, but it is really small. <laughs> it does the mm -hmm. job. Alright, so pretty much gonna run the speed limit the whole time. I'm gonna grind gears until I can get up into the green here. Yeah, I'm trying not to leave you too far behind. I just had to drop three for that little incline, so. <laughs> oh, that wee little motor. <laughs> yeah, 340 horse. Oh, man. So Recon and I are recording this on Christmas Eve. And uh, so you guys will be watching this on Christmas Day. So I hope everybody's having a wonderful this is Christmas. Cool, though. I mean, yeah, I know it's not a Peterbilt or a Kenworth or anything. But uh, regardless, just having somebody else in here definitely helps the game. Oh, yeah, man. That, I, lo I am loving multiplayer. The trick is, you know, for us, is finding a server that's not so congested that it's going to ruin your, uh, you know, ruin your video with having wreck after wreck. But then again, it's, uh, it's different content, you know, the, you've got that, uh, you got that whole, uh, worrying about what, what is this guy going to do versus the AI, you pretty much know well, what exactly. they're going to do, I mean, you know? It's more realistic, especially with snow covered roads like that, uh, truck that tipped over on you. I mean, there was absolutely nothing you could do the other day, and that is per the perfect situation. Because yep. life is unexpected like that. Shit happens to people, and you know? <laughs> for all you know, he could have been dozing off, or reaching for a coffee cup, or something, and boom. Yep. So, I mean, even though people do play like... Talking on yeah, the cell phone. Yeah. They may play like tards, but you know what? There's a lot of people out there that drive like that in general yep the biggest problem is you get so many kids on here playing that or so many people period they get on here and play and they don't and they want to they want to run the routes as fast as possible yeah and they can't stand the fact that you've got limits well, there is a server that there is no speed limits or any penalties, so... You now it's for them type of people, but they like to come in here and troll. Oh, well, no, there's, a, like, one thing I saw on, like, World of Trucks, and I, I'm sort of digging the whole contract thing over there, is uh, on some of the contracts, they'll have a max speed mm -hmm. on there. And if you if you break the max speed... You, uh, you get penalized on the contract. And I'm loving that. And and I, I was reading on World of Trucks where people were complaining about it. And I'm like, you guys obviously don't know much about world, real world trucking because there's a lot of companies that they won't even let their drivers get over 65 miles an hour or some of them. 55. Yeah, we've got ours governed for 65 and that's highway speed. But our, our registration on our trucks are only they are only registered for 55 miles an hour because we are over with and over weight. So if we get yeah. pulled over at 56 miles an hour and say we're on a uh, north way that says speed limit 65 and we are doing that one over, we could still get in trouble for that. And that's why they also just put GPSs in the trucks. Yeah. My, uh, my dad's company, 
Uh, they used to restrict all their drivers to 55 miles an hour, even, and this was back in the day when they had just raised the speed limit to 65, and they kept the speed limit at 55 for all them guys because they were hauling liquid nitrogen and liquid oxygen, and you know, if liquid oxygen meets a petroleum product, it's just like an atom bomb. It just goes yep. off, right? And so they, they keep them at 55 for safety. And, uh, man, they had such a hard time keeping drivers because they couldn't drive 55 miles mm -hmm. an hour to save their life. In all reality, it's a cruise control. I mean, you put the thing to the floor, and there you go. That's as fast as you can go. Yeah, but their their nerves couldn't take it, yeah, you know? Yeah, well, it is. And they, they come in, they quit left and right. Yeah, They're like, I can't drive 55. 15, 20 miles an hour over yep. the speed limit. It does, uh, it does take a toll on you, especially when you're plowing. Yeah, and they're... Yeah, and they're flicking you off, mm -hmm. and they're just honking their horn at you, and make it, especially like if you're running through a city or something, you're running 55, and they're they're cussing you, and you know it's stressful. It is, and that's what the public does not know, especially with uh, snowplow drivers. When you've got a plow and wing down, and you're spreading, the max of the truck that will do, uh, and throw salt in my state at least is is 35 miles an hour. After that. Dicky John is going crazy and it's beeping and doing all this. It's not because we want to drive that slow. It's because that's what we are regulated down to. To keep the road safe and keep everybody safe. You know? Well, it's also to keep from wear and tear on the that, road, isn't it? Everything. I mean, you hit a pothole like that and you got the iron down. I mean, just think. Yeah, how's that work? I've always been curious. How's that work with a plow? Does it have like uh, some sort of like guard on the bottom of it to keep it from scuffing the no, road? Is there like a rubber I mean, plate? there is skid shoes, but in all reality, if we hit bridge joints, expansion joints with them, and our plows are not all the way to the left or right, we can fall into them expansion joints and they will stop the truck. Not to mention damage the expansion joint. Yeah, I was always we wondering about that. How, how... No, we didn't. Okay, we're going somewhere else. We're going to the same destination, aren't yeah. we? Where'd you, where'd you pick your load up to go? Heisenberg. Hey, uh, I think we're going to the yeah Heisenberg. We're both going to the same huh. location. You just told me to get off. Yeah, maybe it's because you're level maybe. five or seven, and I'm level forty something. Uh oh. Experiencing truck difficulties. Yeah, what's going on with you back there? Eh, it's shutting off occasionally. Oh, do you need to hit a repair station? Yeah, uh, no, it's... Did coming it's out a, of there do that much damage? Yeah, I mean, that guy's stinking T-bone me. I mean, if you need to repair, we can uh, repair. The trailer's at, like, 70% damage. My truck's only at 12. Yeah, but 12% damage starts making your engine shut off. Yeah, it doesn't occasionally. Look at this idiot. Stopped over there on the north way in the yeah. middle line. Alright, right hand turn. We're getting off here. Copy that. It's slowing down. Yeah, it's guys like that. And they just run on here. What I love is when they do stuff like that and they run as hard as they can and then all of a sudden they have a little internet burp and they're in your lane and run over you. Mm -hmm. It's not single player. No, and even in single player, I try my best not to do that stuff. Yeah, I'm I'm having difficulty in that Peterbilt from running a hundred miles an hour because I uh, I'm so used to hauling heavy loads with it. Yeah. And it's just too much truck for all these just light well, loads. I normally keep them around 400 horse. I mean, that's realistic in all reality. I mean, our trucks at work are 406 yeah. horse. And then, you know, our over-the-road truck, like our tractor trailer, that's 460. And the uh, the old Freightliner that I used to drive for uh, the rental place that I had worked for, that was right in the fours, maybe the low fives. So, I mean, in all reality... Yeah, most of your, you're not going to have big trucks like this unless you're doing heavy haulage or you're an owner-operator mm -hmm. and you've purchased a specific rig for the horsepower, you know? It. Yeah.
about three quarters of a tank. Running hot, but trying to keep up with bigger truck. I'm trying to take it pretty I know, easy. I know. Need the tow chain mod. That's so funny. When I was driving the other night doing a live stream with Alex, and uh, they were all running away from me, everybody's like, you need to have them just tow you, Moose. <laughs> How cool would that be if they added in push, push trucks into yeah. the game? Thinking that for my RT. Well, even like you see some, I mean, there are some loads like where people are hauling huge pipes and stuff where you'll see a push truck type situation or whatever. Yeah, it's the first time I've ever seen it. I would it, love to so see them. I didn't them. know that it actually happened anywhere else in the States. I'll tell you what else would be cool is in if you if they ever did incorporate multiplayer into the game, how awesome would it be for them to incorporate multiplayer and incorporate escort trucks? Yes. Yeah. To where like you could be hauling a heavy load and I could be your escort or vice versa, you know? And little Ford Raptor or escort. <laughs> yeah. With a pole on the top. You can get like it make sure it clears. Yeah. Yeah, you could get four people together and you'd have, you know, two guys hauling load and two guys running escort. That would be so cool. Oh, I lost you back there. I could see your yeah, headlights. Yeah, I got a high barely. beams on them that far behind. You're good, though. Just keep it up. I'm, I'm gaining. Okay. I kind of slowed down when I seen that uh, guy lagging by me here. Yeah, I tend to do that. I tend to, when I see them, right when they get behind me, I just let off the gas a little bit. Yeah. Let them blow past me, and then... Didn't you? And I also tend to, like, get a little bit further to the right so they can have plenty of clearance because you never know what's going to happen. And I hauled that load the other day to the very end, and um, Sirius and I tried to pull out of the um, out of the ferry terminal at the exact same time. And he ended up hitting my trailer. I lost the entire load because of it. I didn't make a single dollar. Uh, that's this that's sort of, that's sort of frustrating, you that's know. That's this load that we're hauling right now for me. Yeah, it's oh, frustrating. You know, we're hauling. But it's more, yeah, it's more about just doing the hauling, you know. You guys kind of roll with the punches on this thing. Yep. Uh, it's like the run I did with Hamster the other day, and the guy come across the on me. Oh well, ain't nothing I can do about nope, that. that's life right there. Yeah. And admittedly, I did the same thing one day because, uh, you know, when I was doing the convoy thing with Alex, Dan, and Jimmy, I uh, I accidentally moved my mouse wrong, and I ended up plowing into the to the uh, side rail. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I made sure I had my track IR working after yeah, that. Yeah, I can't do the mouse anymore. Yeah, no more, no more looking with the mouse. Especially with the shifting. What uh, what size uh, monitor do you play on? Uh, this is a 28, 4K. Uh, you ought to look into that IX. What's that? The one that tracks your eyeballs. It's the uh, I forget the name of it, but it's the the the, the thing's called IX, and basically it's a little bar that sits down on your monitor, and it tracks your eye movement. And so instead of having to move your head all the time, like you do with a uh, track IR, you just look over in that area, and it follows your eyeball and adjusts the <laughs> screen based on that constantly looking around it's pretty though. killer even when i'm driving it right now they, I'm, even, uh, I'm, I'm actually looking in the woods right now to make sure i don't see eyeballs <laughs> I'm yeah the basic <laughs> yeah but it it actually follows you it follows you and, and will do that for you your camera movement so you don't have to tilt your head like you do with uh track ir it's kind of nice you know yep. it sort of gives you that peripheral vision thing you know that you would normally have 
when you're a driving truck, yeah. uh, you know, or driving a vehicle. So, because you don't always twist your head to look, you know, over to yeah, the side a lot of times you can just glance. Yeah. Glance over. Oh. So. No, oh, that's cool. I'll definitely uh, you, have to look into that. Yeah, I had the opportunity to demo it, but uh, I turned it down because I play on too big of a monitor. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think the the cool. biggest monitor you can use is 29. Oh, okay. Yeah, are you back on GPS? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I think yours just had you turn in earlier than mine. Yeah, I don't know what it was having me do. Oh, we wanted to run you down some back street. Probably. I love when... I love GPS will... Uh, one time it'll have you run the highway the whole time. The next time it'll have you take the same route except run you up the little back road. Mm -hmm. Just so it makes you run all those twists and turns. Here comes the snow. That's cool that it just changes. Yeah, except I'm playing in the dark right now and I can't see the P on my dash on my keyboard. Oh. <laughs> I'm trying to drive and periodically glance down and see where it is. Yeah, I need to change some things around. I need to get rid of like my lights. Uh, I've got headlights and high beams on my steering oh, wheel okay. and I really need to take that off because you know, I can do that off the keyboard because I always drop my lights on. The only need I need, only thing I need on my steering wheel is high beams, and I rarely ever use them. I've got that on my uh, black buttons on my shifter. Yeah, let's see. My black buttons are the top one is enter for selecting like things when you're going through oh, okay. gates yeah. and stuff. That's, I, I use the keyboard and then, for that uh, stuff detached trailer yeah up until recently my keyboard was always over on the side or something and uh, so I wanted all I had in front of me was my steering wheel and my and my shifter and so I didn't have a space for the keyboard so it was always hard to find stuff like that so when I first set the G27 I put as much as I could on it and um, but now I've got things where the keyboard's right next to the steering wheel, so I might just have to reconfigure everywhere where a lot of that stuff is off to the mm -hmm. side. Like trailer, parking brake. Well, the trailer and the enter key I could get rid of. Which would be good probably because uh, my trailer trailer disconnect and the enter button are right next, though, like one on top of each yeah. other. And a lot of times when I'm going through the toll booth, I'll accidentally hit the trailer button. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Detach your trailer. Yeah, I did that the other night. I detached it, but I realized it before I pulled off, so I just had to reattach it. That'd be good if you can go through a toll booth and you leave your trailer, and I'm thinking you're just sitting there. Yeah. I did it the other day. I, I went into a gas station, bought gas, and disconnected the trailer. <laughs> <laughs> Drove right on off. I was like... Hmm, somebody in the live stream said, Moose, I think you left your trailer. Sure enough, I did. <laughs> yeah, that was my wonderful night of fail. So are you looking forward to your first Christmas as a dad? Oh yeah. He's loving the rapid paper so far. Yeah, I bet. <laughs> Whatever makes noises. How old is he now? Six and a half months. Four months? Six and a half? Ah, oh, that's cool. Yeah. It is a uh, different experience, that is for sure. I love it. Yeah. Christmas totally will change for you now. <laughs> for sure.
Must be a grade here because I'm even losing it in the eleventh. I don't know what happened right there. I completely lost power. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I completely my yeah. You know, I started slowing way down. Lost power. I was hitting the gas pedal and I didn't have any response at all. Hmm. Downshifted to, and it picked back up. Wonder if it's gonna start snowing heavier. Nah, it's pretty much this is as heavy as it snows. I haven't seen it any heavier than about this. About the other night when you got in that accident, oh. and you actually had to use your wipers. Oh, I've got my wipers on now. There's no accumulation on the. What do you have? What do you have your? Uh, what do you have your weather set at? That makes a difference. Oh, I don't know. Why do you have accumulation? You need on to go. Ah, uh, yeah. Hmm. Well, next uh, next place to pull over, we'll check that. Because I definitely want to yeah, look at that. Yeah, because that makes a difference. If you don't have your uh, rain settings turned up, you won't get it. Hmm. Everything should be maxed right out. You'll just yeah, you'll just see some flurries and yeah, stuff it's on it's your screen. A harder now, but... Yeah, no, if you won't get this stuff on your screen unless you have your rain settings turned up. Oh, I definitely up. want that. That makes it even more immersive. Yeah. That, that's uh, the first time I did multiplayer on the winter. I had what you have. It's just the flurries and stuff. And then I went in and I maxed out my rain so I could get more to, to get it to snow or at least to pretend to snow even harder. Mm -hmm. Yeah, next time I see a rest stop up here, I will pull off and you can adjust that. How's your fuel? Mm, I'm about a just under a half a tank. Yeah, I'm about a half. How long of the trip was this? Mm, I'm showing we have an hour and fourteen minutes oh, left. What did you say? Oh, I don't know. I don't. Yeah, have we'll it be up. done in five minutes. Uh, three hours twenty-eight minutes. Wow, you're going somewhere different than I'm going then. Yeah, we'll drop my load and then go to yours. Yeah. Ain't no big deal. Maybe you can find one going to my spot. That way you don't have to backhaul. Or uh, piggyback. Bobtail. That's the word I was looking for. Alright, I uh, got a toll booth here, so slow down. Oh, I was way behind you anyway. Oh, these are, uh, I forgot, these are speed paths. Alright, here is where I'm gonna change my weather. Oh, you're stopping? Yeah, I'm gonna stop right here. I'm gonna go over into oh, the okay. furthest lane. All right, I'll pull off the side of the road up here somewhere. Yeah, my gate's down anyway. Is it on your gameplay? Yeah, it's good. Do what? Rain probability at 100. Yeah. Go there, bud. Yep. Was it just the uh, rain probability 100? Yeah, I just set it to max out. No, uh, no other checks. Nope. That's it. Yeah, just slide that thing all the way to the right. Don't know if my gate is down yet. Yeah, it's still down. Okay. What have I got to do here? Back up and go through the easy pass. Well, it came up. 
Are you kidding me? Not coming up no more. I keep seeing your headlights turn off. Yeah, it's because my truck shut off again. There it is. I tried to get through them stupid gates as fast as I was thinking again because I've had them come down on my trailer so many times. Still don't have any accumulation going. That's weird. Is it raining yet? No, just light snow. It'll take it a little bit to cycle. All right. You'll probably have to hit that next trigger that makes it snow or, you know, calls for rain or something. Got a driver coming. Yeah, I wonder if he's Dev. No, Devs aren't playing this. Not bad. Guess they're used to squads. No, and the um, the admins have police cars. Oh, really? Yeah. That's pretty cool. It looks like my destination is right up ahead. All right. Taking this next exit. Copy that. Yeah, if you want, go repair your truck, and uh, and I'll come meet up with you at the wherever the repair yard is. Might copy that. Yeah, if I was you, I'd go straight and go on into town. All right. Copenhagen. Ah, it's almost like Copenhagen. Oh, I like it when you catch the lights just right. 
Oh, the service place is actually out here where I'm at. Alright, I'll make a, uh... Huey. Yeah, you can check your map while you're in there. And see where it's at. But yeah, it's way out here where I Dealer am. Dealer out there, too? Mm, I've got a question mark, so probably I've so. I've got a question mark over here. I'll explore that. Seeing as the question mark over here is where the service icon oh, is, I'm guessing okay. it's a dealer. Yeah, this must be a higher. Yeah. Recruiting agency. Mm -hmm. I'm going to have to do a legal. Well, uh, maybe not. Maybe I can go. I don't want to, but... Oh, I got a... I have Vecco. Did you hear me? I have Vecco? Yeah. straight. We're gonna go straight again. Oh boy, a whole cluster of them are getting off right now, Moose. was about a perfect backup job I just did job. I didn't line it up perfectly straight but just getting it in the spot I had to get into it was nice Alright, so how far are you from your destination Well, there's 32 minutes. Alright, when you get over here to the service depot, tell me exactly where your load's going, and I'll see if I can find a short haul. Copy that. I don't like running around Bobtail. No, that's what a lot of trolls do. Make sure I'm topped off on service. Yeah, we're good. While I have a second. Might as well hit it while you're here, you know?
All right, what is your city of destination? Helsenberg. No, where are you? Where are you oh headed boy. to? This trip alone has cost me over $80,000. Yeah. All right, so tell me the name of the town you're headed to again. All right. He's headed to Heisenberg. Okay. Heisenberg or Heisenberg. All right, let me see if I can find a short load to jump there. Yeah, I got nothing in the freight manager. I'm not gonna worry about it. I'll just bobtail. Copy that. You take the lead, buddy. Yeah, this is one of those you just can't sweat the damage because you know you didn't cause mm -hmm. it. That's easier for me to say sitting at $124 million, you know. I'm sitting at 41000 now. I had twenty or 200 Yeah, yeah you know, I'll, I will say this. The one thing they say on the multiplayer forums go ahead and put the money cheat in and give yourself a ton of money uh, now it was easy for me because I just rolled over my pre-existing account and I already have you know 50 workers and they're continuously putting cash into it for me so yeah I've got a pile of workers also like I've got eight or nine and I mean that's that's enough that that brings in the old bucks I mean, $100,000 a day, to me, that's ridiculous. Yeah, I ride on red that uh, traffic light. I took the speed, the uh, signal ticket. It was too, it was too yellow. Oh, well, it was red for me. I mean, it was glowing red. I was freaking red, red in it, and it turned yellow. I was like, yeah, freak that. I would do it in real I life. I don't sweat do that 400 bucks. Yeah. We have right on red in the states. <laughs> but you do have to come to a complete stop. Man, I hate the gear grinding on this thing when you let the clutch out a little bit too fast or whatever. Yeah. That's so not right. I hate the fact that you have to use the clutch. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're used to power shifting, aren't you? Still don't 
have any rain effects. That's crazy. It probably, it may take another next time you really load the game in for it to take. It'll be just about time to go to the candlelight service when we get finished with this. Oh yeah. I didn't expect it to take yeah. this long, but we did pick a quite a haul. Yeah. It was a good time though. Yeah, we'll be done shortly. Yeah. A good time. Yeah, we got about five more minutes, ten more minutes, and we'll be done. Yeah, I like a multiplayer on this. It's a it's a lot mm -hmm. of fun. You got to spend some time on it, just getting used to it. You know, I've been driving a lot of single player on it, just to get used to it. You yeah. know, and uh, get used to anticipating people's stupidity. Yeah. Easy pass will be on the right on this one. I got them memorized now. <laughs> I was telling Alex the other night, first time I played the Scandinavian DLC, I come hauling down through here, you know, and I was coming the other direction, and I hit the first toll booth, and the easy pass was on the far right-hand side, like we just went through, right? So the next one I came up to, I thought, okay, well, the easy pass is always going to be on the right-hand side. No. The first one I went through, it was on the left-hand side. It was closest to the inside lane, on the inside yeah. lane. So I went through the gate, and no problem. I thought, okay, well, all the easy pass stuff is on the inside lane. So the next toll booth I came up to, you know, knew there was an easy pass on it. So I go hauling up there, and and I see the first lane that there's no little green thing in it. And I figure, well, that's the easy pass lane. It was just like the other one was. I get right up there, no, it's just a closed lane. So I slam into the gate, that's bad enough, but then traffic gets behind me, and so I can't back up and get out of there, I just had to rescue out to another uh, area. Yeah, so I learned my lesson, then just driving on my memorized how they yeah. are. If one's on the left, the next one's on the right. Taking me forever and a day just to get used to these freaking on and off ramps, man. The, the right lane never should oh. end. Yeah, well, actually, though, talking to Alex, uh, it's that way in real life in Germany. Yeah, it, I wouldn't doubt it, but it just doesn't seem right. <laughs> Yeah, it's wrong. I mean, they should have, you'd yeah. think they'd have, like, something down the road, maybe 500 feet, that says lane merge. Yeah. Uh, or maybe it even uh, does, but just, I just don't pay attention. <laughs> I guess Europeans are used to mm -hmm. it. Yeah, I'm used to deceleration lanes on all the exits. I feel, oh, shoot, almost put her in the freaking cabbage. Uh, just my steering wheel. Yeah, my first few runs in Euro Truck, those exits turned into be uh, collisions. Yep. Either that, or I drove in a lot of emergency lanes. <laughs> That's all we have here is two-lane highways, so. 
But up here in Scandinavia, apparently uh, it's just like this place, you know? Or apparently it's like where I live because they got the uh, slowdown. Yeah, they got it right in Scandinavia. They know they under they understand how to slow <laughs> down for an exit. They understand how people drive. Yeah, I hope in the American truck sim when they do do it, any kind of interstate stuff will have deceleration lanes and they'll have longer merge lanes. Well, they need them. I mean, for trucks, these European yeah. trucks. I mean, from what I see. I don't know how, that, in real life, I, I don't know how they would do some of these roads. You know what I mean? So they can't be scale. You getting off yep. here? I just hope they don't carry too much over, like what they think the roads are like, you know what I mean? No, I think SCS has done their homework. I, You know, looking at the videos I saw, that new video that came out uh, a couple of days ago, it looks like they got it down pretty close. Good. I do love the new unloading scheme that they've got where you have three different places to unload mm -hmm. based upon what skill level you want to shoot for. I, I dig oh, that. Oh, no kidding. Yeah, I didn't read or see that yet. Yeah, the new the new way it's going to work is when you take your load to its destination. When you get there, it'll have three different places where you can park the trailer. Mm. One will be like super easy to get into, like almost pulling in straight. Uh, the second one will be a little bit more difficult, and then the third one will be like a serious challenge, like putting it in between two trucks at an angle, mm -hmm. you know. Um, so it's uh, and I think you get a higher you know, higher uh, amount of skill points depending on which one you put it Less into. Hope, huh? Yeah, you know, this one's got it where it's based on you know, how how close you line it up to the you know, to the little lines you're supposed to get more points for it, but Parking at the old GNT. You gotta go around back, don't uh, you? I've never been over this way. Yeah, I believe you're around back. Go to the left and go around back. Splasher. Yeah, this one's easier to do if you come in from the left-hand side. Didn't know because about Because of where that the unload either. point. Yeah, based upon where the unload point is, you uh, you can have some issues if you come in from the right. Because of those uh, cargo bins there. Yep. If you come in from this side, your truck's almost right up against them, so it becomes a real pain to try and get in there. not expecting that concrete barrier. Recon will park his load. Yeah, I think we'll call it an episode after that. My truck is not looking good. Well, this ain't gonna be a one, one back. That's for sure. Yeah, that's the one thing about the Scandinavian yards. I like that they're more challenging than the uh, than the rest of them. They did they did good with the Scandinavian DLC. Oh, for sure. I, I've sure been up here once or twice. 
Oh man, I love driving up here. There are some hard places to park. <laughs> and then you, if you add pro mods into it, think I've got a class some of the a. places in pro, <laughs> some of the stuff in pro mods are really hard. Yeah, I like pro mods. Dude, you hit that other trailer, man. Huh? You hit that other trailer. You're horrible. Oh, man, oh man, I tell you, this is horrible. And they let you drive truck yeah, for a and living. Yeah, I do a lot harder things than this. This should be a cakewalk, in all honesty. It's green, but I don't like it. Green is good. What's this idiot doing? Apparently, I thought he was going to run in the Connex box. I'm going to just do it, just to let you go to your candlelight. Oh, I got a reasonable, so the trailer apparently wasn't horrible. Oh, well, it wasn't horrible then. You made some money off yeah, of it. Thousand bucks. We lost around 60, 80. Yeah. All right. Hopefully, y'all enjoyed. Let me know in the comments below. And, uh. Yeah, it's fun. Let me know if you want to see some we did it. with Mr. Moose. Yep, yep. Have a Merry Christmas, everybody. I hope y'all have a wonderful day. And, uh, we'll see you next time. Hey, guys. Merry Christmas.